Hi, this is Steve from One Minute Tennis Coach. Today I'd like to talk to you about what I think of as the Spanish Armada. In the last 20 years, the succession of Spanish tennis players that have reached the top or near the top is quite incredible. From Carlos Moya reaching world number one, and then going on to Rafa Nadal and a whole host of others in between, Ferrer and etc. It's amazing how Spanish tennis has taken over the world. I don't think it's a coincidence that this success has coincided with some great advice that they began to impart about 20 years ago in the high-level academies in Spain. And the principle was strong fingers and soft wrists. This was a different concept because when looking for a soft wrist and an easy flowing stroke, then the advice that we usually receive is to have a soft grip. But that's a long way away from strong fingers. Today I'd like to help you achieve strong fingers, a soft wrist, and the secret of the Spanish success in tennis. Here's today's one minute tennis lesson. There are two problems to achieving strong fingers and a soft wrist. If I strengthen the fingers, then I strengthen the wrist and I have no flow to the stroke. But if I loosen the wrist, I will naturally loosen the fingers. And now the stroke will flow, but really I'll have very little control and I'll make a lot more errors. How do we achieve the strong fingers and soft wrist that the Spanish were so successful with? I first want to look at what a soft wrist really means and what it represents. Racket. So I'm so going, going to take the racket, I'm going to hold it very loosely, and I'm going to support its weight with the finger of my left hand. Now I'm going to release the racket, and the wrist is not really soft, it's supporting it. Now we're going to repeat the exercise but I'm going to consciously loosen the wrist so that when I move the left finger away, the racket just dangles. Now I have a loose wrist. If I repeat that a few times, then I'll be able to retain the feeling and be conscious of when my wrist is loose. But how do we combine that loose wrist with strong fingers? If I grip the racket with all four fingers and the thumb, then it is almost impossible to have a loose wrist. The four fingers are making all of the muscles of the arm contract, and so therefore the wrist is locked. If I hold the racket with the bottom three fingers, which are connected to the gross muscle skills at the top of the forearm, and leave this finger loose and free, then now, it's possible for me to have a strong grip, but still the racket will drop. The wrist can be loose. If we now put those two things together and I have the feeling of the loose wrist and I leave this forefinger floating and free, now I can make a stroke that is loose, free, powerful, and yet will not create too many errors. Maybe the errors will go down because I also will increase the amount of spin that I can hit. So why not try the Spanish secret now? Find the loose wrist, remove the finger, and see what it does for your game. Let us know how you get on. We've got a comment section below. We'd love to have any feedback on what happens to your game when you try this Spanish secret. Don't forget to click subscribe, like, and share. It really makes a difference to us. And if you check on the website, the information's below. We're the only website online offering one-to-one -one individual lessons. You can talk to us individually in a digital lesson. We provide detailed frame-by-frame -frame pro analysis of your game with a professional overview of what to focus on and how to improve. It really takes your game to the next level. You can try us now for just $1. I hope you enjoyed today's one-minute tennis lesson and see you next time for more unique and very different tennis lessons.